aloud. Read aloud. Read aloud. Read aloud. R E A D aloud. R E A D aloud. Hello, everyone. I'm Officer Tower with the Greensboro Police Department, and today I'm here to read a book to you by the name of Officer Buckle and Gloria. It was written by Peggy Rathman. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Naperville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Naperville School. Nobody ever listened. Sometimes there was even snoring. Afterward, it was business as usual. Miss DePell, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said the officer buckle, but Miss DePell didn't hear him. Then one day, Nateville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at the school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit. And Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting at attention, and she was. Safety tip number two, Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Look at Gloria. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered that morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience just roared. And you can see, look at Gloria. Officer Buckle grinned. He said, the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Nateville School. Every letter had a drawing of Gloria on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawings showed a lot of imagination. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper, and it said, You and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear my safety helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to his bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, daycare centers were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips. And please bring along that police dog. Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 students, excuse me, schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. 
After every speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria for an ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. Everyone's getting Gloria's autograph. Then one day, a telev television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during an electrical storm, the students jumped to their feet and applauded. Look at Gloria. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. The next day, the principal of Naperville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Miss Tapel. Well, how about Gloria? Could she come? Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to the school. Gloria sat on stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep. So did the audience, and Gloria left. Naperville School had the biggest accident ever. It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat, splatter, sploosh. Everyone slid smack into Miss Tapel, who screamed and let go of her hammer. What a mess. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend Claire. P.S. Don't worry. I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip 101, always stick with your buddy. Thank you, and I hope you have enjoyed the book about Officer Buckle and Gloria.